Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. Today I'm sharing with you a Thanksgiving page, His Unspeakable Gift. And this is also going to be just a quick reminder of watercolor crayons and how I like to use them. So here's your first glimpse at the page, His Unspeakable Gift, referring to the grace that we receive through Jesus Christ. So I'm working in my interleaved Bible today, and again, that's the Bible that has every other page completely blank, which gives me a lot of room to be creative. And I've taken this from my set of templates, Gratitude for His Gifts, and I just took that template and copied it into a Word document and stretched it, enlarged it, and made it really giant. And I'm going to just be putting it on the page in my interleaved Bible. Now you could make this a tip-in in your normal Bible, you could put this in an art journal, very easily. Wherever you want to use it is absolutely fine with me. I just love this image and I really enjoyed meditating on the grace of Jesus today. Now I've sped up this initial tracing part of the video here so that you don't have to watch me redraw the entire template, but here is just a quick look at what I did to get started. So I used my Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen. This is a permanent pen so that later when I go in with my watercolor crayons, this black ink is going to stay exactly where I put it. It's not going to bleed or move around or anything like that. And basically, this is just a very simple process. I am taking off the template once I'm done with it, and I'm grabbing my watercolor crayons. These are Gallery by Mungyo watercolor crayons. There is a link in the description box below if you're curious where I got them, and they are awesome. I really enjoy using them. They're quite similar, I believe, to the Neocolor 2s, so if you already have those, that would work just as well. You can also use oil pastels, watercolor pencils, normal watercolors. You could just color these with normal colored pencils as well. Basically, my process is I like to use a variety of the same color in an area, but in different tones. So you see on these leaves, I'm using a light green, a medium green, and a darker green to try to sort of get some dimension on these leaves to give them a little bit of shape so they're not just a solid crayon green, which would also be beautiful as well, but this is just kind of my personal preference. Now I'm going in on the roses and I decided to go ahead and do kind of this really fun peachy pinky style rose. This color of rose used to be one of my favorite colors of roses when I was working in a flower shop and I continue to just love them so much. And so I kind of used a peachy color, some orange, and then this awesome hot pink to really bring some life to these flowers. And again, if you don't remember, the basic process for watercolor crayons is simple. You just scribble in the color where you want it, and then I use a damp brush, and I blend the lightest color first, followed by the medium color, and then I usually leave off with the darker color in the end. Now, while you're watching me color this in, I really want to share the scripture for today. It's in 2 Corinthians 9, and I'm going to start reading in 10, even though verse 15 is what I'm journaling specifically today. It says, He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way to be generous in every way which through us will produce thanksgiving to God. For the ministry of this service is not only supplying the needs of the saints, but is also overflowing in many thanksgivings to God. By their approval of this service, they will glorify God because of your submission that comes from your confession of the gospel of Christ and the generosity of your contribution for them and for all others while they long for you and pray for you because of the surpassing grace of God upon you. Thanks be to God for his inexpressible gift. And in another version, it says unspeakable gift. Now, I just love this. I know that was kind of a long passage of scripture to read, but go check it out for yourself as well. This is incredible that God is our provider. He gives us the seeds for sowing. He increases our harvest. He gives us the amazing gift of his grace. And I just think that's worth celebrating this Thanksgiving season, this month of Thanksgiving. As you know, it's my favorite holiday of the entire year. And so I was super glad to create some Thanksgiving templates for you guys to enjoy using in your own Bibles. 
Now, as you can see, I've just varied the different colors I'm using. In some places I just use one color and in other places I use a couple different colors. And there is one other way to use watercolor crayons that I do wanna mention before I end this portion of the video. And that is the following method. You can use a wet brush and simply use the tip of that watercolor crayon as if it is a traditional watercolor. So I'm just using a damp brush and touching it to the tip of these crayons and that's giving me this beautiful, very, very vibrant color to add into any sections that are too tiny to do the other way or to simply get a darker, more vibrant result from the colors. I went through with this Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen and added just very subtle shadowing on the letters in that limey green color. I added a few little plus signs or crosses and then these little clusters of three dots around the page. I drew in some journaling lines at the bottom there and just wrote a personal prayer of thanksgiving to the Lord for this amazing gift of his grace in my life. Here is a peek at the back of the page. As you can see, there's been no bleeding whatsoever. There is one tiny little spot there in the center that looks a little bit damp still, and that's because it is. So there's no bleeding or anything, and once that completely dries, it will look the same as the rest of those watercolor crayons. So much fun. I hope you jump into the Word of God for yourself today. It truly is amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Join me over on Facebook. We have a great community of women over there, and we are sharing what we create in the Word of God. Find me on Etsy as well. That's where you can purchase a template just like this one or many others. I hope you're having a wonderful Thanksgiving season. God bless you.